Hey guys, we'll be talking about the launch of the new Warzone Season 4 as well as Black Ops Cold War. Um, so let, let's let's start with the positives. And well, it was a smooth start. It was a smooth launch. Uh, no network issues. So that's good. But with that, let's move on to the meh. So there's a new Gulag. I, I still prefer the last Gulag. This one is still better than the original Gulag. So okay, I guess it's it's something different. Uh, for Dansk hasn't changed at all from what I've seen. So, you know, no major updates to the map. There's probably a few little things that I'll discover along the way, but at the moment I can't tell. Now let's move on to the negatives. The new weapon drops are all over the place. They're either completely overpowered. Oh my god, what the hell is this gun? I'm destroying kids. 75 rounds and it only takes five bullets to kill a person. What are you thinking? And there's no recall to... Am I even hitting this guy? Am I, am I, am I even touching them? No? Uh, okay then. So I, there's definitely gonna need to be some balancing on the weapon drops. It is, feels like it's a, it's a luck based game now where you, if you find the gun you want, or if you find the gun that's so powered, you're gonna be tearing up if you find a gun that isn't as powerful, <laughs> which is more likely gonna happen. You're, you're gonna feel like you're, you're weak ass. Also, in terms of gameplays, another negative is they still haven't updated where you can select duos, trios, or quads for the other modes. So, you know, you have your regular for dance, battle royale, but you've got rebirth resurgence where you can only pick whatever the game gives you. The same with plunder and mini, mini royale, which uh, is annoying because sometimes you just want to play with two of you. Sometimes you've got a whole squad, sometimes you've got trios. And I kind of want to play with the amount of people I want to play with. I want to select the mode. I don't always want to do for dance regular. I prefer Rebirth Resurgence, a much more fast paced game. But no, I guess I have to just be at the whims of the game. Also, why is it still like a massive 20 gig, 28 gig update? Like what, for just changing the weapons slightly and changing the gulag, my God. So I'm kind of underwhelmed by this season four release. Uh, yes, it went smooth, so I could play start all straight away. But overall, it's it's done nothing for me, uh, nothing at all. On the positive side, I finally have enough curl points that I've accumulated for free that I can able to buy battle pass. So that that's good. So it only took me over a year to finally save up and get a battle pass for free. That, that's nice, but that's about it. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Leave a like if you liked the video. Leave a dislike if you didn't. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Uh, if you enjoyed this form of content, let me know. The reason you're seeing Black Ops gameplay rather than Cold War, um, well, Black Ops play play instead of Warzone is, I, I recorded Warzone, uh, I mean, I recorded Cold War gameplay. So, you know, deal with it. All right, guys, see you on the next one. Morse. Marvelous. Together on the track. Let's go. Red sus, red sus. Red sus, red sus. Red sus, red sus. Red sus, sus. Red sus, red sus. Red sus, red sus. Red sus, red sus. Red sus, sus.